she tonight. Okay. So maybe we'll talk more starting tomorrow. Na pagkaganda ang testimonies niyo. Everyone has a testimony, but the the basis of it all is if you can project. Can you project? The scripture. Yes, one simple, one simple scripture only. Acts chapter seventeen, twenty-six, verse twenty-six. scripture na yan. Sabi ni uh, Apostle Pablo. He was the author of the book of Acts. From one man is referring to Adam. Una-una tao na rin siya na Diyos. No? From one man, he made every nation of men. Lahat, kahit Pilipino, Inchik, uh, Arabo, Espanyol, ano mang lahi ng, Pilip, ng tao. He made all nations of men. At siyang nagkalat sa buong mundo. That they should inhabit the whole earth. Inalat niya sa buong mundo. At he is the one who determined. Siya ang nagdetermino. Sariling isipan niya. Siya sariling plano niya. Siya ang nagdetermine. Uh, yung anong mga eksaktong panahon. Uh, at mga eksaktong lugar. And exact places where they should go. Uh, you will have to, you'll have to uh, understand this also through Ephesians chapter 1, sabi doon na we were, lahat tayo, we were predestined. Hindi pa linilikha ng Diyos ang mundo na predestined na tayo, bawat isa sa atin. At kilala niya, bago pa niya bilinikha ang buong mundo, kilala kang bawat isa sa atin sa ating pangalan. Amen. You can imagine that. Wala pa si Adan? Wala pa ang grandfather mo? Wala pa ang parents mo? Kilala ka na ng Panginoon? It is something that is beyond our comprehension. Hmm. Kung paano wala pa tayo? Meron na ang pangalan natin sa isipan ng Panginoon. That's, got, that, that's one way of tell, saying na tayo lahat, bawat isa sa atin, kabahagi tayo, kahit sa pinakamaliit, isang maliit lang na bahagi ng plano ng Panginoon. The universal plan of God. And it was He who determined even the time you were to be born. And even the place where you were to be born. Lagi ako sinasa ako nga eh. Malaki ng bata ako, hindi ko ba nakikita ang itsuran ka. Yeah. Bakit? Dahil ako'y pinanganak doon sa pinaka no, most uh, remote place na walang dalsada, uh, no roads whatsoever. We have to watch mountains to reach my birthplace. You see? And not only my birth, lahat tayo pinanganak tayo eh, somewhere, no? At par a particular time of your birthday. Ngunit, there were other times of fulfillment that God made already the plan. Na uh, ilipat-lipat ka hanggang kayong narito, hanggang kayo nakarating dito sa 
UAE? Okay? Ano ba ang dahilan kung bakit ginaganyan tayo ng Panginoon? In spite that He already birthed you in your own place where you were born, bakit suddenly you were in another place at another time, mamaya-maya in another time, mamaya-maya you were in China, mamaya, doon ka sa Qatar, ngayon, nandito ka. Ano? Why? The answer is you go to the next verse. Lahat ng pangyayari sa buhay natin, ang Panginoon ang nagpapahintulot. He is the one who is actually directing the things to happen according to His plan. Amen? And what is the reason? Ayan. Ginagawa ng Panginoon ito. God is doing this so that you, men, tayo ang men, di ba? Would seek Him. Yan ang hinihintay lang ng Panginoon. Nahanapin siya. Na yung tunay na paghanap na hindi yung mga gusto mo ang hinahanap mo. Would seek Him. Him, ha? Not, not yourself or your plan or your ambition or uh, mga gusto mo. The longer you do not seek Him and what you are seeking is yourself, ako muna, my family, my, uh, my ambition, my magkawahay, umaman. Ganyan, ganyan din ako, no? Kasi yan ang nagpapatagal. Yan ang nagpapatagal sa mga uh, plano ng Panginoon sa buhay mo. Nang iniiwasan mo, nang iniiwasan yung talagang tunay na plano ng Panginoon. You see? Would seek Him and perhaps reach out for Him. He is hoping and hoping that by doing these certain things in your life, bringing you at this time dito, at another time doon, at another time doon, He is actually keeps on shaking you, shaking you, so that you will seek Him. Nagkakaproblema ka, nagkukulang ka, merong kulang sa buhay mo kahit na you became successful, you were educated, nakapag-asawa ka na, nakapag-bahay ka na, may sasakyan ka na, pero may kulang pa rin. You see, it's God who is working. So that perhaps you might reach out for Him. You see, and find Him. Yan ang gusto ng pinahanapin natin siya. Really find Him. Though actually, He is not far from each one of us anywhere at any time. Kahit noon pa, malapit ng Panginoon sa iyo. Pero hindi mo rin niya reach out eh. Yan ang dahilan na kung bakit ginaganyan-ganyan tayo. Ang Panginoon parang nagpe-play ng chess. Anggang isinubukan, pinain ka ng pating. Pating na kagaya ni Jonah. Okay? Kasi God is the one working. Ganyan ang ginagawa niya. Bawat isa sa atin. Lahat tayo. Nobody is exempt. Ako man. Maybe a board of us started with me. Okay, but there were others also before me. See, so I'm just we're just all part of one whole thing that God is doing. So what we all need to understand is everything is God. God is the author of everything anyway that's happening. At kung bakit tayo na rito ngayon, dito sa alay, that's God. And all we need to do if you want to be happy and you become fulfilled. You want to be blessed, but most especially, you want to go to heaven. Alam nyo, only those who do the will of the Father. Sabi ni Jesus, Matthew 7.21, di ba? Yun lang gumagawa ng kalooban ng Panginoong Ama. Siya lang ang makakapasok sa langit. Kung habang buhay, sa habang ng buhay natin ay hindi natin tinutupad ang gusto ng Panginoon, 
time will come when God is, you know, the timetable will be up. You will not go to heaven. Sa basura ng Panginoon, hell, ang bansa mo. That's the summary of everything actually. The whole ministry. Kaya ito lang ay may uh, may share ko ngayon just so we have something to uh, receive tonight. You think of that. You think of that. There's nothing to regret. All the things that happened in our lives, whether mga, mga misfortunes na pangyayari, uh, uh, we missed our ambitions. <laughs> no? We hindi natupad yung mga gusto natin. Eh, if we only will understand that it's the will of God that prevails anyway. Ay, hindi mo nasisisihin kung anong nangyari sa uh, nakalipas sa buhay. We only have to, what we determine, have to determine to do is to seek the Lord. Make Him priority. And you will see how everything will get in line. And, and you will get the real blessing, all the promises of God. You know so many promises. And God is not a man that He should lie. Lahat ng pangako ng Panginoon, eksaktong-eksaktong matutupad. He says He will meet all your needs. All, you mean? Will you say all? All. Ay, wala kasi ang pagkukulang. All your needs according to His riches in glory. Sobra-sobra ang kayamanan ng Panginoon. He was the one who made the Garden of Eden. He put man there. Walang pagkukulang ni Adam. Nung siya ay masunurin. Pero nung dumating ng demonyo, Iba ng demonyo ang mentality ng tao, naging imbis na na God-centered or Christ-centered sa atin ngayon, ay self-centered na. Yung akin, yung ako, para sa akin, pamilya po, mga, ayan, ay, yun ang kailangan ibalik natin. We have to turn it back, set your eyes on Jesus. And all the promises of God will be met. Ito yung nangyari sa buhay ko, Kaya nagpapasalamat, I'll never regret how God took away everything. He nearly took away my life. He nearly took away my family. There was a time when my wife threatened to leave me more than once. Sabi ko, sige, umuwi ka na sa probinsya. Imagine talaga, di mo nyo ako talaga. No? Uh, I thank the Lord that uh, hindi pinahintulutan ng Panginoon. You know? He nearly took my life. He took, then he took away everything. <laughs> Lahat ng uh, pinaghirapan ko. More, 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 more than 40, 40 years ago, kaun na lang. Took away everything. I, had, I never had to go back to do any business anymore for myself. Pero, malilit pa mga ito. Nabuhay kami. Hanggang ngayon. We don't have a house. Mabuti kayo. There are many of you, God has blessed you with the house already, with properties, may lupa kayo, may mga pamilya kayo. Ha? Anong panghanapin mo? Magpasalamat ka at kahit ganun, you were like that before and God is still blessed you, ha? Yeah. Why not make him now credit? You'll see what God will do in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. So, may God bless you all. Pagpatuloy natin yung <laughs>